Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over a couple new HTML5 form elements, the range slider and number boxes. Okay, so we um, HTML5 introduced us to multiple new HTML input types, and several you've actually already seen me use in this demo file, which you can find in the video description. So ones I would definitely start using right now, def, uh, like uh, type equals tell, type equals email, type equals URL, type equals search. Those are great. And what I like about them especially is that if they degrade on an older browser that doesn't support them, they degrade to a standard text box. This is where we start to run into some trouble with these two new ones I want to show you. Um, type equals range and type equals number. Okay, so let's go ahead and check these out. I'll jump over to my code here and I've got a section all set up for type equals range and what I'm going to put in here is I'll go ahead and create a label and I think my label will end up being amount then I'll do an input type equals range okay now there's a few attributes that you kind of want to do along with this one you can put in a min I'll start a min of five you can put in a max I'll do a max of a hundred and you can also put in the step, okay? The step is how does it change? Do you want it change by ones? I'll have it change by fives. And I'm also gonna put in a value of 15 as my starting value. Who knows what, this, what these numbers represent or what these amounts represent, but that's what we'll do. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that there, but I'm certainly not done with this one. Just so you can see how this is going to look, I'll go ahead and save this jump back over to my web forms, hit refresh, and you can see that I now have this nice little range slider. And by the way, each browser is going to display these separately. They are getting very good support now in all the browsers, but they're always going to look a little bit different. It's the browser's interpretation of this input type. You'll notice that when I refresh my browser, it starts a little bit from the left. That's because my starting value was 15. Now if my starting value was 5, we'd see it all the way on the very left. If my starting value, of course, was 100, it would start off all the way on the far right. So no big deal there. However, as I'm sliding this around, it is getting a value, but the user doesn't see that. So unfortunately, we have to incorporate a little bit of JavaScript with this. So I'll go ahead and write this in my input first, referring to a function that I'm about to do. So inside of my input tag, I'm going to go ahead and put an on input event handler and I'm gonna go ahead and check for a particular function I'm gonna create a function called show amount which I haven't done yet I'll do that in just a second for this value this is gonna be passing an argument to a function so the value basically from this object the object being my range slider so I've got that on input and something else I'm gonna need after my input here let's see I need my closing label tag. I never did that, but I also want to put in a span. I'm going to do this. Span ID equals amount, and this is going to ultimately be, what am I starting with? 100? I'm just basically picking this number, which I started my value at. This is where my new value is going to get displayed. So basically it's an output for the, for the user. And then I'll go ahead and close my label off. And just beneath this, I'll write a section of script. Normally it's nice to put your script on an external file or at least in the head section. I'm putting it right down here in the body just so it's available to us. And this is going to be a function. My function is going to be called show amount and then new amount. New amount is kind of like a variable here. And I start off with a set of curly braces. And then in here I'm going to have document get element by ID. And basically I'm getting my span here, amount. enter HTML equals new amount. Perfect, that's all it takes. And I know this is kind of weird for it. This wasn't the intention for this video. But basically, I'm going to take the value of whatever is on this range slider as it's being input in. So I'm going to take that value and I'm going to put that value, this value right here, show amount this value. It's going to get converted to my new amount variable, so to speak and my new amount is going to be shown in the inner HTML between the opening and closing tags of the element that has an ID amount. So basically right there where I currently have 100, this new amount is going to show up. So I'll save that, browser, 
refresh, there's my little 100, and of course if I change this, we can see the new amounts showing, and there we go. So let me go ahead and copy this web address real quick. Let's see how this looks in Internet Explorer. Just go ahead and paste that in there, and I'm gonna allow block content. So with IE, the rain slider looks, I think, looks pretty cool, a little bit different. We, don't, yeah, we do get a control, but check this out. It's giving me a little screen tip with the value above it, but it's not changing my, my span value off to the side. Let me jump back over to my code real quick, and it could be on input. Let's do this. I'm gonna copy that, and I'm also gonna put in an on change event handler. So on input is a little bit newer, so let's see how we do there. Well, let's go ahead and save that, back over to IE, refresh, and we still have our screen tip and we have our value changing. Okay, and of course I've seen this before. If I look at this in a Firefox browser, and I think I have one off to the side. And this is Firefox, so you can see how that works. So, although it seems to be working in these latest version of browsers, I'm still a little bit hesitant to recommend input type range. It degrades poorly. It just degrades as a text box, which is usually not what you want. But it's getting better support, so good news about that. Of course, there are jQuery solutions to help to ensure this. And just it'll just take a minute here for me to show you this last one. I'm going to go ahead and take this label. I'm going to copy it, and I'll jump down here, paste label and I'm going to change this over to type equals number okay so now I can include a number it's got this all the same attributes as type equals range this is type equals number head back over to my original refresh and now we get a little text box for some numbers and I can type new numbers in but type equals number gives me these little up and down arrows, okay? And these aren't bad. You definitely would have to go through and style these a little bit differently because these are just, I think, a little bit too small for usability standards. But type equals range gives us a little slider. Type equals number gives us a little drop down, or I'm sorry, gives us a uh, little up and down buttons for our text box. So a couple new uh, input types for HTML5. Type equals range, type equals number.